What is an abstract? It should be thought of as a miniature version of the paper. A summary of each of the main parts of the paper should be included in the abstract, the introduction, the methods, the results, and the discussion. An abstract can be thought of as a summary of the information in a piece of writing. A well-written abstract helps readers quickly and accurately figure out what the document is about, whether it's relevant to their interests, and whether they need to read the whole thing. The length of the abstract should not be more than the number of words set by the journal typically, 250 words. It should also be written to make clear what the paper is about. The abstract should be written as a single paragraph most of the time. The abstracts in some medical journals are now more structured. Many people will read the abstract, either in the original journal or when it comes up in a search. The abstract should include, 1. State the main goals and scope of the study, 2. Describe the methods used, 3. Summarize the results, and 4. State the main conclusions. Because the conclusions are important, they are often given three times in a paper, in the abstract, in the introduction, and most likely in the discussion. Most or all of the abstract should be written in the past tense because it talks about work that has been done. Generally, the abstract should not give any information or make any conclusions that are not in the paper. Citations to other sources of information should not be used in the abstract except in rare instances, such as modification of a previously published method. In the same way, the abstract should not include or refer to tables or figures, 